As Omega released its Novelties 2022 collection, I wanted to see if there were any watches that would get me to open up my wallet for them. I do have a sweet spot for Omega, as my father's dress watch was a gold Omega DeVille. And I will link a video I did on that watch in the description below. As you know, on this channel, I review watches I have bought. So I wanted to share with you which of these watches I would consider buying and my thought processes as I went through that discovery. Unlike most other reviews on the Omega Novelties 2022 collection, I am not a watch dealer, just a consumer. Now, to the novelties. The Seamaster Planet Ocean Ultra Deep. It's not for me, plain and simple. I'm not sure how a 45.5 millimeter watch would fit. It's a bit of a one-upmanship exercise with compromises. Let's be honest, none of us are going diving deep down to 6,000 meters or 20,000 feet. Not alive, at least. Omega engineered it. Kudos to them. In doing so, however, they sacrificed the aesthetic of the watch. So it's a no for me. It's brutal in its appearance. Next, the Seamaster Diver 300. Lovely dial, lovely watch. I would pick the rubber strap just looking at it as it adds more pop. You can probably tell I'm not a fanboy of integrated bracelets, even though I owned an AP Royal Oak. Just one thing gets me about this watch, and it's been there all the while, not just in 2022, the helium escape valve at the 10 o'clock position. It ruins the watch for me. My Tudor Pelagos had 500 meters of water resistance Yet, it hid the helium escape valve in the case. While this green dial version, so on point for 2022, is the best Diver 300, this exposed helium escape valve has prevented me and will prevent me from buying it. The Seamaster Aquaterra line, Omega's entry level watch. One of the first things that catches my eye is 38 millimeters. That is the right size. In looking at the colors, to be frank, only the red catches my eye. For an entry-level watch to the Omega brand, they could have been more daring in their color choices. That being said, without a factory strap option, I will stay with my IWC Le Petit Prince, but I give this line kudos. Now, the moon watch. This is where Omega shines. And that's not, no pun intended. It's their own niche. I know people compare this watch to the Rolex Daytona, but the Speedmaster Professional can hold its own. Looking at the watches, I will have to try them on for fit. And I do see some similarities with the Daytona, but 
I would pick this one, the most elegant one, and one that the Daytona does not have a direct competitor to, the green dial on a green strap, elegance personified, and it won't be confused for anything else. Omega is doing its own thing here with this watch, and it shows. It's also the cheapest. Perhaps the only criticism for me is the watch has an exhibition case back. While I may understand, understand this on a minute repeater, there's no need for that here, and it's not that much more gold. Next up, the Speedmaster 57 collection. The one that catches my eye here is the blue dial. This is a smaller size than the Speedmaster Professional at 40.5 millimeters. It seems to feature a sunburst finish on the blue dial with a matching blue strap. This is a watch I would probably consider if I was in the market for an Omega chronograph. But to me, the Speedmaster Professional is the one to get as it is the icon of the brand. Last up, it's the Constellation, the underrated Omega watch. For me, it's the white one or the red one in rose gold. But to be honest, it's not popping out at me, on the internet at least, as I would have hoped. It's a nice watch, but there are other watches from other brands that add more pop. You may even consider a Vacheron 56, which is moving higher in the horology space, or even, maybe even a Gégé Le Coultre Master. This review is probably about a watch I would buy rather than a critique of a collection. And there is such a watch. I would consider buying the green and gold Speedmaster Professional on a green strap. When my authorized Omega dealer gets it in, I will try it on for size. And if it does fit, I will buy it and do a review. Thank you again for watching this channel.